But my guest is here, Dr. Belly, who I did tell you at the beginning of the program that Africa Polling Institute conducted a survey. Dr. Ihua is with me, the Executive Director at Africa Polling Institute. Dr. Ihua, good to see you. Welcome to the program Same again. Same here, Nancy. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's so. been a while. We did. <laughs> like I said, we did, you, you know. You're, you're looking well. Thank you. Thank you very much. And you too. Thank you. Um, let's get started. Like I said to our viewers early, uh, earlier, uh, the intro, uh, it's going to be an interesting one today. Mm. Um, you know, for me, I also do feel that in spite of the not too good numbers we're mm. seeing around the economy and all of that, but when we really analyze the entertainment sector, mm. media entertainment sector is quite huge. True. And we see a lot of bright spots there. We can improve on it. You see, I think the just uh, concluded Z Big Brother Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. You see the amount of monies that went into that. Multi choice made money so much, you know. But it also tells you something. But let me just allow you, give you the floor to uh, explain what led to this poll. Who are the kings and queens and all of that? <laughs> yeah, thanks, Nancy. It's good to be back, uh, you know. Uh, for us, this is one of those soft polls that we do. Mm. You know, we do the hard stuff, the economy yeah. and governance and all of that. But sometimes um, the softer things of life tell sweeter stories and better stories. So it's one of those soft polls that we did. So we just got back from the field. We're conducting some nationwide survey for a major um, development sector organization. And I, and I observe an interesting paradox. So on the one hand, we're speaking to Nigerians, asking them how is life, how are things, and all of that. And they're telling us, oh, things are bad, we're not, the economy is tight on us, things are tough. But as we see that, we also see a trend that at every corner, there's some music playing somewhere, yeah. people are grooving. Yeah. At every people corner are you go, parties. people are, you know, there's yeah. some party holding somewhere, there's a, a little viewing center, people are watching football, there's a little... Um, you know, Beer parlor. exactly where you get you see a small TV and they're playing some Nollywood film. So, when we go back to the office, I thought with my you know, my colleagues, I said, Listen, guys, we hear this sad news, but we also see happiness, we also see joy. Can we run something on how Nigerians recreate, how Nigerians entertain themselves, and how they rest in spite of the odds or in spite of the challenges, seeming challenges that they face? So, that's how this poll came about. Mm. So, what did you find? Okay, so first things first, we tried to, we started out the poll looking at how do Nigerians recreate. So five main ways Nigerians recreate. One, they watch movies. Two, they listen to music, um, you know, on radio or through their phones. Three, they rest or sleep, basically. Four, they hang out with friends. And five, they engage in religious activities, whether you're Muslim, whether you're Christian, there are religious activities, church programs, and all of that. But then we had to cascade that down to, so if you watch movies or you listen to music, what kind of films or who are your top or your most favorite um, Nollywood artists, music, musicians, and um, you know, comedians? And we came up with this list of who we call the kings and queens. And, and let me state that this is a nationwide poll because I've received calls. Some people have told me, oh, this your poll does not rhyme with uh, um, um, you know, some of this, what we are getting from uh, America or what we are getting. So you see, how many Nigerians have access to those media platforms? This is what Nigerians who are on ground, who are in the various, um, and we can look into the various uh, the sectors. Okay, let's look into the various sectors. I see you have uh, the music, mm. Nollywood, that's the theme, yeah. and also comedy. Yeah. Let's start with music. Okay. What's happening there? So music is really interesting um, because uh, and when we go back, we try to really analyze deeply. So in terms of music, the king of Nigerian music at the moment is David Doe. Mm. Um, and, you know, we, we put this out, uh, you know, on our platform and we received some bashing from Whiskey fans saying, what are you guys doing? Yes, there's Whiskey always that, that Yes, there's always that. But, I mean... Davido is mostly in the country. Whiskey is always or mostly out of the country. And at the grassroots, what people are still listening to is, you know, the whiskey. So you have whiskey, you have fa um, Two Face, you have Flavor, you have, of course, Bonaboy, you have Alamide, you have P Square. And interestingly, we found out that people still recognize with P Square as a team, not Peter Rootboy uh, and, Root uh, Boy Mr. and uh, P. Mr. P. You know, so we've, this is some of the, but on mm. the ladies' side, 
Tiwa Savage came on top as one. number one. Um, they love her. She's got great fans in the grassroots. Um, followed by Simi, uh, Temi, who's also, mm. you know, has made some ways for herself. Yemi Alade. But something interesting we found here is the fact that gospel artists are now coming into the mainstream. Uh, when I mean coming, it's not, uh, I'll say accidentally, because now the generality of Nigerians have been they're recognizing gospel, gospel artists. So you have the likes of Sinach, you have Tokwe the likes Alabi. of Tokwe Alabi, you have the likes of Chioma, mm, Jesus, yeah. um, um, then, um, this Messi guy, Chimo, yes, yes, coming into the center court. And being Tim part of Godfrey what, and yeah, all of that. you know, on, on the male side, you mm. have Nathaniel Bassi, mm. you have Frank Edwards, Edwards. we have Tim, Tim Godfrey, Tim Godfrey that are coming into. So that's the music, and you, you know, uh, um, someone said to me, oh, you know, this is not MTV base. This doesn't align with MTV base. But how many Nigerians watch MTV base? This is what the guys in the streets, on the grounds across the country watch, and they're really enjoying, um, um, you know, uh, this the sound from these guys. So yeah. Mm. Um, Omo Baba Olo, David yes, is, Davido. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know if we can have that video on the screen because I can hear, yes, that's it. I can actually hear Davido's song on my ears. I told you guys earlier, it's a groovy Friday, so <laughs> we groove into the weekend mm -hmm. of today's edition of the show. I think this is his latest song, yeah. isn't it? With David, uh, with Chris Brown, with Chris Brown, an American artist. Now, as we talk music, are there some different dimensions to it? Just like you said. Yes, interestingly, you know. You know we, we, we because it's an industry that's, that's created a lot of jobs. Not just jobs. I'm talking about the entertainment sector now. You know, in terms of, you see other budding industries coming because of the development of the entertainment sector. You interestingly, know. what we saw is that, you know, across the country, people have created hubs where entertainment is thriving. Little hubs here, little hubs there. For example, in northern Nigeria, of course, Carnival is there doing mm. its thing. But we realize that in music, in comedy, in Nollywood, you have people who are known locally. So in music, for example, we have a lady called Fati Niger. Mm. <laughs> Some of these people, you know, and that's the beauty of research. We now had to go and start searching who is she, going on YouTube to look for but her But she works. appeals to her she own audience. She appeals to the audience. Fati Niger, yeah. Nafisa Abdullahi, um, Hafizat Sarauni, Zainab Indomi, people like that. You have on the mail, you have Omar Sharif, um, Sati Arewa, and Ali Nuhu, who also came out strongly in the, you know, in the Nollywood space. So, yes, you have these um, variations across regions, um, but of course, when you look at the things holistically from a national level, um, Tiwa Savage and Davido came tops in the, in the music category. Mm. Uh, should we really take this your polling as exact in terms of like Davido is number one, Tiwa Savage number one, two for female artists, uh, Olamide and Koda is in terms yes, of ranking? Yes, yes, in terms of ranking. I mean, that's in terms of what people told you. Yes, this is not in terms of perhaps what they are putting into the entertainment, like number of songs or number of records. Yeah, I mean, how this, much this might not be even about how much they make. They this make. is about resonance. This is what resonates most with the people. This is what do the people connect with the most. This is what are they hearing in their local communities. Who are the people they are engaging, you know, with. And that's how we came about this. So, yeah, you know, people have asked me all manner of questions, but this is how it is from the perspective of the ordinary man who's listening to. If you look at Nollywood, for example, really interesting. Um, 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 so, you have Odun Lade, yeah. Who's tops? Odunade is primarily a Yoruba but actor. A actor. But has... You understand? You but know. of course, has come yeah. into the mainstream. But when you look at the numbers and you do the weightings, you see that Odunade still comes top, followed by Ali Nuhu. Mm. Really? Yes. And, and it's, <laughs> you see, it's, it's intriguing for us to see this trend because you need to look at the country holistically. As I've always said in other fora, that... Nigeria is not Lagos, Abuja, and Abuja, Port Harcourt. Mm. Nigeria includes Yobe, includes Meduguri, includes Sokoto, includes, you know. Uh, so does that mean that apart from Lagos, Abuja, and Port Harcourt, what the rest of the people told you in the other perhaps 33 states mm. now, apart from Lagos, Abuja, and Port Harcourt, would overshadow what the Lagosians, 
those in Port Harcourt. Absolutely. We have to wait. We, yeah. uh, we have to, you know, consider waiting. So, for example, you, you come into Nollywood. We observe that someone like Chiweta Ago is quite popular. Those is little Ovoko <laughs> or Equestria Romance, Yamami Water, and all those, so, and all those something. stuff. It's resonating with, with the people. common man. And because of that, when you ask people about who's your favorite, they call his name and say, oh, we, we like him. We like him. Then what we also observe, for example, is that skits are beginning to play a major role. Mm. So the skits like La Sisi Elenu. Yeah, the short skits, skits of Exactly, comedy. skits like uh, um, Omar Badon. Um, um, you know, um, La Sisi Elenu, Omar Badon, Brother Shaggy, um, Agba, Woli Agba, and you know, all these guys. I love watching Woli yes, Agba. Agba. And I know you watch it too because <laughs> I see <laughs> <laughs> I see why you don't like his video. He's, he's someone that speaks in Yoruba. But if you understand that, it's exactly. very funny. Exactly. Mm. So these little skits, and you know what we found out? That these skits are becoming like an elixir or, uh, you know, if you yeah. will, paracetamol yes. against stress. stress so yes. and when we ask people, they say, you know, it's always a stressful day. But when we want to ease off the stress, we just go look for, you know, Wali Agba or look for... Um, La Cici Elenu mm. or one of these little skits and watch or Ed Edo Pekin. And when we watch it, we are fine. We carry on with the day. Edo Pekin, so that's the particular, <laughs> or particular of them all. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he who, 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 who actually even got married, I think, two weeks ago? Yes, yes, yes. I saw he's, that. He's Koboko's yeah, yeah. younger brother. <laughs> oh, so I see. Anyway, they are my friends, so I know. <laughs> so you see that those little doses. Those little, yes. And yeah. they're serving like little, you know, mm. little tablets Anti that stress. people can take and and relieve their stress mm. for the day. So you're having mm. a hard day, you've been in traffic, but you open your WhatsApp or you open your Instagram, Instagram and you... The, something that came out big for us was this Mark Angel comedy, guys. Yes. So, um, Mark Angel himself was number five on, 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 the, on the comedy. Emanuela was number one female comedian. We also have success who so still down in the first 20. It shows that these guys, there's something they are doing that resonates mm. with the ordinary Nigerians. We also see that someone like Funke Akindele yes, is coming Jennifer strong, Klein. both as an actor and in the comedy space. We also see Helen Paul, her new Alaja Don Jazzy, is resonating so much strong that people are now recognizing that, oh, Helen Paul is doing something well. So for us, what we see here clearly is the fact that um, content is now king. Mm. If you've yeah. got a small camera, if you've got a, and you can create yeah. content, make it original, and remain consistent, Nigerians would, would you know. Mm.